Hey everybody, Massachusetts Prepper here. I got tagged by Pops Quest and uh, basically he had a bunch of questions that someone had tagged him and they wanted to know about some of the dishes that you prepare in your home and, and such so he tagged me and I'm finally getting around to doing this video now I'm just gonna go down through these questions and answer them the best as I can uh, you may be noticing that that's not a green screen MP what's going on well I got kicked out of my studio uh, basically we've taken in a third foster child and I say child he's a 17 year old young man and uh, my studio needed to be converted into a bedroom so uh, for right now I'm uh, I have no studio to prepare my videos in so I'll be uh, doing the best I can anyway we're gonna get right to the questions here your favorite crock pot meal now back in the day when my wife and I both worked outside the home uh, one of the things we would do would be to, we had a huge crock pot and that crock pot we would throw a big old chunk of beef in there potatoes and carrots and some vegetables and uh, when we come home we had like a you know a big old beef dinner or we would take and cut that beef up into chunks and throw all the stuff in there and we would have beef stew when we got home and by the time we got home after a, a day's work everything was ready to go so the kids would be getting home from school, we'd be getting home from work, and uh, supper would be almost done. So that was my favorite crock pot meal. Favorite easy cleanup meal. I think for me that would be my version of Hamburger Helper. Very simple dish. Been making this for years, uh, probably in the early 70s, or maybe just after Hamburger Helper actually came into being. Uh, but I take macaroni and cheese, brown up some hamburger, mix it all together, and it's like, I don't know, hamburger helper. Simple dish, one one pan, very simple to make, doesn't take a lot of time, and it's quite good. Uh, we call it Daddy Surprise, because the first time I ever made it, my kids said, what is this, Dad? And I said, it's Daddy Surprise. So. Uh, my version of hamburger helper easy cleanup meal favorite Pinterest dish I don't really do Pinterest sorry can't answer that one um, healthiest dinner healthiest dinner dish you make for me I think that chef salad um, we're real big on having uh, a nice chef salad uh, you know we do the, the whole lettuce and tomato and cucumber thing and then add uh, in our sliced meats um, boiled eggs, you know, cheese, and then your salad dressing and everything. That's probably my healthiest dish that I make. Favorite soup you make? Um, for me, that's homemade vegetable beef soup. I like getting my corn right from the, the farm when I can. I check out a, a, a farmer's market. Uh, get some fresh corn on the cob. Take and, you know, cut it off the cob so you got your fresh corn. Try to get some fresh green beans from the farmer's market and carrots. Uh, peas if they're in season um, I like to put lima beans in mine my wife doesn't like the lima beans so you know I try not to put too many so she doesn't have to pick them out but yeah just a, a homemade vegetable beef soup most unique dish you make uh, I don't know I'm always trying something new and you know the kids <laughs> tend to uh, complain sometimes let's just put it that way because some of the dishes I come up with are kind of unique um, I think the strangest dish I ever made, I was going to make shepherd's pie. It was right after Thanksgiving, and uh, we had a big old pan of leftover mashed potatoes. And I said, well, you know, I'm going to make a couple big dishes of shepherd's pie. And for whatever reason, those potatoes had gone bad. So I had the hamburger all done. I had the corn for the shepherd's pie all ready and everything and my potatoes were bad and we didn't have any potatoes in the house I didn't want to go to the store I looked in the refrigerator and there was some red skin potatoes in there garlic potatoes 
So I took and laid down my hamburger, put those garlic potatoes on top, you know, of the corn and hamburger mixture. And that was some of the most disgusting stuff I think I had ever tried to eat. Um, one, of the, one of the kids actually liked it and asked for seconds. The rest of us didn't care for it. So that was probably the most unique dish that I had ever made. Favorite pasta dish? Um, I would have to say probably chicken cacciatore. Really like chicken cacciatore. A good cacciatore is, is good and that, that's, that's good stuff. Um, kids favorite meal with the three kids that I got at home right now the fourth kid is moving in today um, but with the three kids that I have in the house right now I'd have to say it's tacos they they all are big fans of tacos the dish I always bring to parties uh, potlucks and gatherings when I lived in Florida a gentleman had a ham at this church gathering we were at and the ham was almost like a spiral cut ham, but then he had pineapple and cranberry sauce blended together in a blender. And after you, you boil the ham in a big old pot until it's, you know, warmed through, then you, you take and spiral it or slice it so it's still on the bone, but slice it all up. And then take this cranberry and pineapple mixture that's been blended together and of course you have this all sitting in a deep pan with tin foil and you pour it all over that ham and then close it up in that tin foil and bake it and when that comes out that cranberry pineapple mixture has just permeated that ham and it is so good um, I call it my southern style ham and that is some good stuff now to, to keep this tag going uh, it says I have to tag three friends. So I'm going to tag Tom Chitwood. I'm going to tag Country Prepper. I'm going to tag Madison C. Iowa. So that is the three people that I'm going to tag. Tom Chitwood, Country Prepper, and Madison C. Iowa. That's it, guys. That's the, the dishes that we prepare, you know, according to this list. I will have a copy of this list down in the description below, um, as well as the people that I have tagged. Will you survive whatever comes your way? I sure hope so. This is a Massachusetts Prepper saying, take care all.